Well, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it's Monday morning, and it's a little foggy outside, but I think we're going to try to shoot some crows this morning. An actual crow hunt this time. Be uh, me and Wesley. We're going to hunt my normal spots around the house. We're going to go to my grandmother's house and kind of hunt behind her house on the power line, which is normally pretty good. And then we're going to hit up public and just, you know, public, uh, public grounds have just a bunch of pull-offs. We'll stair-step our way up through the public, just kind of go off the road, you know, 100 yards or so, and uh, set up going along through there. Uh, but I feel like we'll do pretty good. Uh, when I hunted last week at my house, I hunted midday, and generally, generally in the morning is better Mornings are generally better in wooded areas because generally around noon, a lot of them go to fields and pastures and people's yards to eat. So uh, we'll probably call in a little bit more, hopefully, or uh, I may have screwed us up last week because like I said, they learn, you know, a lot of times you can't call in the same birds more than once. So we'll see, but I got high hopes. We're going to kill. Hopefully we'll get some double digit numbers. So if we got plenty of time, we're gonna hunt most of the morning. Uh, but it'll be real fun. So y'all hang out and stick with us. Our setup, we're in our pines. Where I hunted yesterday, we're gonna start here. Go to my neighbors and then go to my daddy's and then we'll go uh, to my grandma's. We're already starting to hear crows, so we should be here any minute. In the tree. Wesley. Right above you. pretty good hunt killed four we got one stuck in the tree well it was stuck in the tree we're sitting there talking it fell after shooting at it 10 times got four and missed two so should have had six. Oh, sharpshooter over here <laughs> we're gonna make our next move and uh go from there There he goes, we got him. Hooray! <laughs> he got through there just enough. Yeah, I've seen him down there. Oh, there. Nah, he didn't. Here, run back. 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Come on. Grabbing them like ducks. I can't be grabbing them like you do a duck. Well, little update in the morning. He's got to hold them up. We've got nine so far, and that's this is our third setup. We're about to go hit public, and uh, we'll just stair step our way and pull off on all the turnoffs and just walk 100, sorry, 100 yards or so in. Call, probably call a few birds per spot. So, we just need one more to get 10. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a double digits. Uh, so maybe we'll get 20. Who knows? It's still early in the morning. So we still got a few more setups in us. We'll see what happens. All right, next setup. We're here on just the logging road. We got a good opening down the road. We hear someone off in the distance. Got this camera on. Good. See what happens. This is our first public land set up in a while, so don't know exactly how good or bad it'll do, but I know there's always crows flying around when you deer hunt, so we'll see. Turn this sucker on and get the party started. I always like to start the call off soft. Call your close birds in first and then uh, ramp up the, the volume later on. So maybe it'll work out. No, 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 no. Here, here, here. Get burned. Back. Get him, Scrunt. Get it. Bench it up. Get him, Scarlet. Bench it up. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Scott. A few more down. Me and Wesley had a little rodeo there for a minute. 
took 10 minutes. We couldn't even hear. Well, we heard one at first, but there wasn't nothing come in. 10 minutes later, it was all heck broke loose. We was, about ready we to was move. yeah, we was, we was about to move, and all of a sudden, crows started coming in. We was running around because we, we kept wounding a lot. We had to chase them down. So we was everywhere, like, over your head, over your head. Yeah. <laughs> Knocked off four of them. On to the next spot. Setup number six. I think this will be a good setup. We got a pasture way over there across the road. And probably like to hang around pastures and whatnot. We'll go up through here and find this logging road where we got a little opening in the canopy. And uh, we'll do a setup and do our thing. So far, it's been so good. Uh, pretty good we're like 13 i think now so initially we were just wanting to get 10 now we're going for 20. yeah the trail is right here if or i mean either way i don't care we can look it up we can look at both see what you like best I like to set up on trails where you got a little bit of opening in the canopy. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to shoot them through the trees. Wesley smoked a tree, <laughs> shot it clean in half, last spot. Right here, probably good, we think. Yeah, you see. Got a good opening. So we'll set up right here in this bend and start calling. Well, we had a pretty successful day. We just got back when Wesley just left. Uh, we ended up with 14 right here. It's a pretty good pile of birds. A uh, couple of setups today didn't really do very good. They came in, but then they seen us, and the, the, they, they normally say uh, when you're crow hunting, they always send the scout. The scout comes first. So, uh, if he sees you or if you miss him, you're basically done, and that's basically what happened. Uh, we had one come in, and he was within range, but we kind of botched. We didn't shoot, kind of botched the opportunity to shoot. And uh, after that, like, none would come in. So after that, you just basically got to move, and that's just the way that's the way crow hunting works. You either got to be sure to kill the scout or don't let him see you. So best-case scenario is you just need to shoot him. Yeah, if... If you ain't ever tried crow hunting, you need to. If you like duck hunting, you'll like it because it's very action packed. You can move and you know, you can't, you're not just stuck in one spot hoping that it's gonna work out. You, you move, you know, public land, get some permission on some private crop fields, you know, whatever you gotta do to find some good spots and crop fields, anything around crop fields is gonna be prime. So, but knocked out a few, uh, little by little, knocking off some off the population, help some turkeys, you know. That, uh, not getting their nest raided when they're gone. So do what we can do to uh, help the turkeys out in our area. So there'll be a few more hunts this year. I'll probably go on another one. Well, we're planning a snow goose hunt sometime soon, so, but we'll have a few more crow hunting videos. So I hope y'all enjoyed it and uh, y'all keep hunting.